Well, hello, I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., and uh, I'm excited we're here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, which is also, as you know, the headquarters of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, and we are wooden solid here, and we're getting ready for our convocation, our ninth holy convocation of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, and we're going to let you in today on some of the behind the scenes scenes preparations that take place as we make ready for our convocation. Come on and follow me. Well, I'm in the sanctuary, and as you can see, we got workers behind me, painters painting, people doing things, making ready, and you can see the sanctuary. We have shifted our uh, pulpit and made it ready for the convocation, and so we're very excited. We Listen, the saints are coming, and we are excited about the saints of North Carolina 3rd and the people coming from everywhere to be a part of our great jurisdiction and we are getting ready to receive the people of God. Now come on and follow me. Thank you, brother. Oh, we got both of the guys in here. Oh, we're, we, we're here with gold now. We're here with gold, royalty. Well, I'm in the fellowship hall. I'm with two of the greatest workers that I've ever worked with. These guys are incredible. Xavier and Domingo, and they are making it happen. We're getting, we're getting everything set up. Uh, brother, brother Xavier, what do you think about what's going on? Well, everything is going according to plan. Um, we're just trying to make everything perfect for this week, like always, and we're trying to make everything wooden solid. Domingo, what's going on, buddy? Make it happen, and we trying to do the best we can, and we trying to make sure everything is on point, and everything to be wood and solid. Thank you so much. Listen, these guys aren't cameramen, but you talking about hard workers who get the job done. They're the best. Well, follow me on. We we are making preparations for the saints. The saints are coming. The saints are coming. Well, I'm walking in the green room where the superintendents are now uh, uh, gather and uh, some of the guests get a chance to rest and relax. We got a few goodies over here. And by the way, speaking of being in the green room, look who, look at whom I discovered. Both Pams, First Lady Pamela Wooden and Sister Pamela Faison. Ladies, I'm glad to see you. What's going on? What's going on? Well, we're just here, Bishop, just trying to make sure we make everything excellent and just wooden solid for the members and for the uh, pastors and the First Ladies and the guests when they come in. Praise the Lord, honey. Yes, sir. We are gearing up and getting ready for the Holy Convocation. The saints are coming. I just talked to one of the pastors and First Ladies ladies they are on the road headed this way and we're getting ready for the saints of God uh, to come so that they can uh, come in here and be comfortable and have something to snack on if they need to just step out and relax or whatever they need to do the green room is ready hallelujah for the saints of God hallelujah so we're we're as you can see we're excited the green room is ready we got the goodies out. We're, we're working on the sanctuary. We're praying and seeking God. We're just excited. This thing is wooden solid. I want to show you one of two mirrors that we have on the walls of the church. Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And as you can see, you see my hands there. Uh, these are working hands. The hands of the preacher working in the kingdom. And listen, all of these are words of wisdom and sermon topics that the Lord has given me. Uh, we call them wooden nuggets down through the years. But look at these things. The culture of victory, contending with the spirit uh, of our times. Just sermons that God has given me to preach. Hidden manna, white stones and new and a new name just so many things down through the years you see the cross praise the lord and sermons upon sermons upon sermons that we preach and we will continue to preach the word of god and we're excited about what's going to take place this week because it's wooden solid and our ninth holy convocation is on I'm as excited as I can be. Come on and follow me. Got a few other things to show you. 
Hey, son. Hey, hey man. Good to see you. Good to see now, you. Now, what, what are you doing here? What's, what's, what's going on? Well, I'm getting ready to vacuum the sanctuary, get the pews ready and the, and the floors ready for the saints to come in for the Holy Convocation. Because you know we always got to be wood and solid. But listen, keep on doing it. And we're excited about the work, the preparation. And man, I'm glad you're here working, Thank making you. it happen. Follow me. Got a few more places to go. Well, I'm in room 400, our multi-purpose room, and I'm going in it, and, and listen, the ladies are getting it done. We're pre preparation is everywhere. Tanya, what's going on? God bless you, Bishop. We're excited and we're getting ready for the Holy Convocation. Hallelujah. We're going to make sure that the headquarters are right when uh, the saints come. Amen. <laughs> what's happening, Margaret? Oh, you know how I'm doing. I'm, I'm excited. The, the saints are coming. What's happening? The saints are coming. You know our bishop is one who's given to hospitality. So we are making sure that we are going to be hospitable to everyone who comes. Come on. We're waiting for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. The, the multi-purpose room is being flipped and turned over. Hey, Patricia. Oh, you didn't know I was coming, did you? No, sir, I didn't know. What's going on over here? Oh, God, we got a, we got repass this week, so we're just making sure all of the chair covers and tablecloths and making sure everything is beautiful because my bishop is giving the hospitality, and we got some special guests coming this week, and we're going to be ready. Hallelujah. You got to be wooden solid. Well, I tell you, hello, Shane. Hey, sir. We are working. Okay. Now, what's, what's going on? What, what are we doing back here this week? What, what happens back here? We are preparing for the repast. We're looking to make sure that everything is perfect, that everything is wooden, solid, that we can prepare for our presiding bishop mm -hmm. who's coming. So we want everything to be perfect. So after service, we have repasts, yes, and, and by the way, the repasts are free, and we, we come back, we eat, we fellowship, we have a nice time, yes, and you mentioned the presiding bishop is coming. Yes, he is. The presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop J. Drew Shedd, is going to be with us Friday, the Friday night of the Holy Convocation, and I'll tell you, I'm excited, and I always get a little nervous when the chief is coming, because he's our leader, and we we want everything to be right for him. So ladies, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. We're wooden solid. We're working. Follow me. Yeah, this is little John K. Amanchuku Jr. He's the baby in the group. And he's up here. He's helping me. He's walking with me. And buddy, we're, we're wooden solid. Are you excited about it? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm excited about it too. I love my little buddy. We, listen, he's special and I thank God for him. God bless. We'll have you on TV, boy, we'll have you. <laughs> All right, now I'm walking into the media suite, the, the, the meat and potatoes of our media ministry where we produce these things and make it happen to send it out to you. And uh, uh, the president of our media, she's doing a fantastic job. Crystal Amanchuku. Crystal, what's going on, girl? I'm doing well. How are you? Good to see you. You know, I'm excited. Yes, sir. I am as well. I am as well. Well, now, talk to us. Talk to us about all the stuff. And you know, Crystal is also my producer and director. So tell me what's going on. Tell the saints what's going on. Well, Bishop, we're just testing and configuring, getting all of our cameras and LEDs, everything ready, because listen, the Holy Convocation will be here tomorrow. We want everything in our production to be wooden solid. Amen. Well, I tell you what, with, 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 with this young lady doing what she does, she's a big reason why we're wood and solid, and we're excited about what God is doing. Crystal, keep up the good work. Thank you. So it's proud a pleasure. of you. Thank you so much. Hey, brother. What's happening, man? You doing all right? Good, man. Good. Well, we're on our way in. Hello, Vicky. We're making our way back here to our finance area. Yes, sir. Talk to the lady. Vicki, we're excited about the meeting that's coming. I am so excited. Now, tell us, tell us what you're doing and how you're making it easy for the people to support this great holy convocation. Absolutely. So at the Upper Room, we love giving. So I am helping to pass out the envelopes, but because we want to make it easy, we have our giving online. So it's digital. 
So we have a lot of saints that love to give online, and so we meet that need because we're wood and solid. Ah, hallelujah. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> now, you, did you hear that? Did you, did you, I know you see the common theme, the common thread everywhere. Wood and solid. We're doing it for Jesus, and we're going forward in the name of the Lord. We're on the brink of the holy convocation. One more stop. And this is our other mural that mural that we have on the wall here. Uh, as you can see, Up Room Church of God of Christ, the likeness of yours truly, and all of these sermon topics. And these things now are about uh, 10 or 15 years old. So if, if we had to do another one, we got enough sermons to do about 10 more of these. All of these subjects, God first, uh, loyalty guided by truth. Look at this. Thyatira, the Jezebel Church, when death and life met in the middle of the road. Listen, as I read these, the, all the names of these sermons, and you can see in the back, NC Third, uh, our first holy convocation, you see the names of these sermons, desire is not enough, fix law, certainty. I can remember the text and can go back and begin to preach from these messages, accepting God's forgiveness, so forth and so on. We've been preaching the word of God down through the years, and we're excited about what God is going to do this week at the Holy Convocation. Oh, we got some of our youth, our young volunteers, help making it happen. Hey, Pam. Hey, Tyra. Come on, ladies. What's going on here? What are you all doing? We want to make sure everything is wooden solid here. <laughs> I'm so proud of these young folk working in the church, getting the job done. And uh, listen, I, you've heard the theme over and over. Wooden solid, getting ready for the holy convocation. The saints are coming. We're up here making ready. We're excited about what God has given us to do. We're excited about what the Lord is doing at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And our, our desire, more than anything else, is to bring glory and honor to the God of the Bible. Uh, and as I close this, I'm right here. I'm standing beside the picture of the my, my pastor, the founder of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, the late, great James Henry Turner. He's in glory. But I tell you, he pointed to me in our last conversation, and he said to me, hey, and I looked back at him. He was uh, in the hospital, lying on a bed. He lifted his massive body up and pointed at me, biggest hands you've ever seen in your life. And, uh, and he said, hey, and I looked back, and he said, I, I said, sir, and he said, you know you're my son, don't you? And I said, yes, sir. Those were our last words. He's in glory, we're carrying on, and we'll, we'll see each other again. Praise the Lord and rejoice evermore. But until then, meet me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for our ninth annual Holy Convocation of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. And as always, we're wooden solid.